E oral trainer. Identifying cadences for grade 7 oral. A different approach. In grade 6, you already learned how to identify perfect and imperfect cadences. In grade 7 ABRSM oral, the addition of the interrupted cadence will be tested. Also in grade 7, you will need to identify the chords that make this cadence. Now, really, identifying the chords in this test is more theory than oral. For example, if you had a perfect cadence, you already know that the chords will be 5 to 1. So, in this video, we will try a different approach, working backwards as it were, to identify the chords first, from which it will be obvious what kind of cadence it is. You might think this is harder, but first remember that all the chords will be in root position. All you need to do is listen to the bass line and choose from the chords 1, 4, 5 and 6. To make it even easier, the examiner will first play the key chord. Added to this, from your theory knowledge, you should know that only certain combinations are possible, and for this grade they will be 1 to 5, 4 to 5, 5 to 1, and 5 to 6. Added yet further to this, the tonality of chord 6 is always the opposite to the key of the piece, that is to say, in a major key, chord 6 will be minor, and vice versa. And so chord 6 should be easy to spot. With all this theory knowledge, a process of elimination should make it easy to identify the chords, and from there, identifying the cadence even easier. Let's try some. I will play a tonic chord, and then two more chords. Tell me what the two chords are, and then the type of cadence. Remember to listen out for the bass line. Here is your tonic triad, and your two chords. That was 1 to 5, an imperfect cadence. Did you notice that the first chord was the same as the key chord I gave at the beginning? And from there, the only permutation possible at this grade, following chord 1, is chord 5. Now try this one. Here is your key chord. And the two chords. That was 5 to 6, an interrupted cadence. The key chord was minor, but the final chord was in a major key. The only permutation ending in chord 6 is 5 to 6. Now let's try this one. Here is your key chord. And your two chords. That was 4 to 5, an imperfect cadence. Could you hear the stepwise movement in the bass from the subdominant to the dominant? Let me play it again and listen carefully to the bass. Here is your key chord. Now listen to the bass line. Subdominant, dominant. And finally, let's try this one. Here is your key chord. And your two chords. That was 
Five to one. A perfect cadence. The final chord was the same as the key chord given at the beginning. There is just one other thing you need to prepare for grade seven oral. And this does use oral skills more than your theory knowledge. That is the use of the seventh in the dominant, chord five. Without the seventh, the dominant chord sounds quite strident and bold. Adding a seventh adds warmth and richness to the chord. Listen to these two examples. Here is chord five without the seventh. And here is chord five with the seventh. Can you hear the difference? Once again, without, quite bold and strident, and with, a slightly warmer, richer sound. Okay, you try. I will play two almost identical perfect cadences. Which of these two versions has the seventh in the dominant chord? Here is a key chord. And here are your two chords. And here are the two chords again. The answer is the first example had a seventh in the dominant chord. And finally, name the two chords in this cadence. Here is your key chord. And here are your two chords. Those two chords were dominant seventh and tonic five, seven and one, a perfect cadence. I hope this video has given you more confidence in this test for Grade 7 ABRSM Oral. And if so, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new uploads. Thanks for listening.